this is a unit uh, for the walk-in down there. Uh, this was not installed by us. Some other company came in and put this one. So I got a P2 failure. And that's your probe. too weird. It said it had ice. I'll double check the timer there. So on this one, it's marked everywhere as 134, which when I look up this compressor, it uses 134 for high temp and for medium temp and extended medium, medium temp. Uh, it's supposed to be 404. So when I look up, when I hooked up, I looked at my pressures, uh, 134 did not make any sense, even though it's marked that uh, and if I switch it over to 404 those pressures make uh, much more sense like if it's running fine because it is uh, 35 inside right now so I'm assuming somebody put 404 in it um, and it's it's still running and I was down there and it was already 35 it's a cooler so I think they have the T stat set too low I'm gonna go back down and see what temp we have. Maybe that's freezing. Uh, Cause their complaint was that it had iced up. So I'm just gonna raise the thermostat for now and we'll do a follow up. I gotta look at uh, notes or talk to one of my coworkers. Cause this is the first time I've worked on this. I believe someone else has worked on this, uh, you know, in the past year or so. Cause uh, this is not something we get called on a lot. Uh, at this location, the walk-ins have been pretty solid and I think it's about to shut off. Yeah. So let me go see what the temp was. I don't see anything too wrong here uh, for me to mess with anything else except that the defrost timer was not even uh, set up or anything. So we set that up. My only concern is it has not uh, turned back on yet so I need to go down there I did move the thermostat up slightly so if it's not kicking on then I'm probably gonna have to replace that thermostat and I'm gonna take a look at that expansion valve see if I can tell what refrigerant it's supposed to be running on because then I can recommend more based on what I know about the unit so guys so I ended up putting that thermostat a uh, new one on there kind of just put it in the same place as the old one as neatly as I could 
Uh, they have a bunch of area managers here, and I think their own like uh, like company inspector because uh, they're going over food and stuff. Not only that, they also have uh, they're prepping a lot of their food right now, so they're putting a lot of uh, product, and it's like warm product in the cooler, so they're in and out like crazy. It's kind of hard for me to check right now. Uh, I did it was cutting out like 35, 36, staying under 40, coming back on, so we're good with all that. And I did have a walk-in freezer that was down that I'll try and get to right now. Yeah. All right, so strike that freezer call. Uh, another guy went out and took a look at it since I was tied up here. And they were saying it was stuck like at 25, 27 degrees. I think that was a complaint uh, freight gang called in. And there were, I was just helping over the phone, so they were giving me pressures uh, and temperatures. Made sure the fans were all working, all the, well, like it wasn't nice up or anything, nothing visible that they saw. And when they read me the pressures, everything looked good. It's a 404 unit uh, walk in freezer, not that big. So I basically told them, well, it's a little high because we had a cloudy day and it was kind of cool outside, a little fresh uh, at the time that they called me. I was like, you know what, just hose out and rinse um, the condenser coil because, you know, you probably got a high head there. Or like one of those sneaky ones because it wasn't real, like it wasn't super high or anything, but I felt like it was a little higher than it should be. So after they cleaned it, it started dropping like crazy. It was under 20, it was 17, 16, 15, and uh, I told them not to mess with it anymore and let it run and it worked. So they got that one going. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of that right now because uh, in my area, the valley here, there's a lot of construction going on. Um, so on top of them not doing, cause they haven't done PMs with us, uh, we've been telling them to. They also have all this construction and new roads being put in and everything, so there's a lot of dirt and crap in the air right now. And a lot of these things get, uh, condensers get plugged up pretty quick. And I believe this one was a micro channel, if I remember correctly. So yeah, looks, out, looks like I'll be out at five today, thank God. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Pretty simple day. 